so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this cut crease glittery eye look using the new Urban Decay Moon Dust palette which I am absolutely in love with right now. I just filmed a video that you can find on my channel where I do swatches of all the colors so if you want to see what the rest of them look like you can check that video out. I will link it somewhere here or here. I'll link it somewhere. Um, but today I'm just going to be using one color. It is the color Galaxy and it is my personal favorite out of the palette. Um, but yeah, let's skip the chatter. Let's get right into this tutorial. I'll see you guys there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to work that into my crease. Any light brown shade will do for this. And I'm going to go in with that same palette in the shade Raw Sienna and I'm just going to deepen this up a little bit. I'm using these colors as my transition color. And I'm going in with Dip Brow by Anastasia and I'm going to use this to kind of mark out where I want my cut crease to be. So I'm just going to follow the natural crease of my eye and kind of stencil that out. So now that I've got the desired shape that I want, I am finally going in with the star of the show. I'm going to go in with Galaxy on a very thin, dense brush, and I am just going to apply that right over where I applied the dip brow earlier, and I am just going to work that into my crease until I get the desired pigment, as well as the desired thickness that I want using this shade. So now I'm going to go in with a black matte color and I'm just going to define this crease as well as give it a little bit more definition and I apologize for the hairline shots. And I'm just going back in with that color Galaxy to get that blue pigment back in there since I went in with the black it kind of darkened it up a little bit too much so you can just go back and forth with the two until you get the desired shade that you like. So now as you can see things got a little bit messy so I'm going to go in with some concealer on a very thin brush and I'm just going to carve out my cut crease. And I'm just going to give it the shape that I want. So just go in, get a little messy with it, and then you can go in and clean everything up later. And I got a little carried away with the concealer, so now I'm going back in with that glitter again. So it's kind of just a back and forth. You got to just be patient and work with it and just keep going until you get the shape that you like. So now I'm going to go in with my NYX black liner, and I'm going to start off with a very thin line on my lash line keeping it thinnest towards the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to follow the shape that I created on my wing with the shadow and I'm going to follow that for my eyeliner. So now that I have finished my wing, I realized that the shadow dipped down a little bit too far for me. So what I did is I got the tiniest bit of concealer and I rubbed it on the back of my hand. And then I went in with this brush and I am just cleaning that up. You want to use as little product as possible when doing this or else you're going to create a mess. So you just got to be very careful. So now that we're done with the, the eyes for now, we're going to move on to the face. I am just using my MAC foundation, dotting it all over my face. And then I'm going to use... This new brush that I got from Amazon 
to blend it out. I know I'm not using my blend my beauty blender like always, but I was like, I gotta change it up. I can't keep doing the beauty blender thing. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer, and this is the same old routine, so I'm just gonna speed up through this real quick. If anyone's interested in me doing a review on those brushes that I got, they are supposed to be a dupe for the Artiste brushes. Let me know. I would love to give you guys my opinion on what I think on those. And I'm looking kind of crazy right now. Just bear with me, I promise. We're going to get through this. So I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. I'm doing my contouring differently than I usually do if you've watched my other videos. I saw Sandra Deluxe do a look using this method and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted to try it out. If you don't know who she is, check her out. She is freaking awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. My favorite, favorite powder to set with. And I'm just going to speed up through this also. And I'm going to pop on some lashes. So what you saw me right there, I was letting the lash glue dry while I was baking. And now I'm going to dust that all away. So I've applied my lashes. And now it's time for blush. I'm going to be using those brushes that I got from Amazon again. It's my absolute new favorite way to put on blush. It just looks so gorgeous. So now I'm going to use this shade in the palette as a highlight. I was looking at it and I was like, why not? Let's go for it. Let's, let's get two uses out of this palette today. It um, is very iridescent, so I probably wouldn't recommend it for an everyday look, but it was pretty cool. I liked it. It was fun. Something different. Why not? And I just popped that on my nose, inner corner of my eyes, and my brows. So now I'm going to line my waterline, but the angle of my eye just kind of looked disgusting, so I went ahead and cut that out for you guys. But there you go, guys. Here is the final look. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.